Y'all better tighten up. Make sure we all set. We're gonna get all these cameras ready for you guys. We are live. Friday Christ. again. A week went by fast. It's a good week. Ooh, definitely a good week, man. Great you know, week. Getting into Labor Day weekend, right? It's coming yeah, up. Long the storm weekend. talk, all the storm talk going on. So oh, yeah, yeah. Storm talk, yeah. yeah. So if you guys don't know, we're in Florida, right? Yep. And uh, if you guys, you know, you guys usually see us between a green screen on Instagram, or we're usually yeah. in the studio or in Titan. We're actually down here at St. Pete Beach right now. Actually, the weather's real nice down here. It's right? beautiful right now. No rain. It's about yeah. 90. Yeah, 90. It's hot, but yeah. I mean, I like it hot, sunny. It's nice up. Absolutely. It's a, it's a lot better. You know, we were talking about on the way in here, like where we're from originally. And, you know, Drew and me are not from Florida, obviously. Where, to where are you from, Drew? You, you want to Massachusetts. Tell I moved down here from Boston. Um, in 2006 and wow. never went back yeah so nice down here it's safe it's warm it's cheap to live the people are a lot nicer yeah it's, uh, people more into fitness down here because warm you around oh yeah you know where i'm from people are wearing a, a coat and underneath a hood you know sweater they're, they're dressed up all the time so they don't want to work out two or three months out of the year where down here it's all year yeah. i love it i mean after I was here for a year straight, I just never went back. Yeah. Oh, right. Trust me. I know the exact same thing. I'm from up north, uh, Midwest, so northwest Indiana, Chicago. So I know about the seasons, uh, icing down, you know, getting the ice off your windows, heating your car up, right? Going outside, black ice driving, uh, just freezing on the inside, having to bundle up, hot, cold. I know all about that, you know, especially, you know, the one thing I noticed, and I noticed when living down here, Drew, was... Is how great it is up there all the time. You know, when yeah, you're up there, you're going to be miserable. It yeah. is. It really yeah. is, man. And so that's that melatonin release all the time. So you're always yeah. lazy. You're always gloomy and just. Yeah, man. Yeah. It, it makes perfect sense, you know. Yeah. And down here in the sunshine, you're like motivated. You're ready to go. That sun, mm. it gets you moving, you know. Yeah. I mean, so yeah. for me, you know, after that, living up there for 21 years and coming down here, it was a big thing for me. Yeah. It was just, uh, it was like vacation every day. It's a lot better down here in Florida for me. I love the hot weather. I don't ever want to go back to the cold weather. I like going up there in the summertime because it's real nice. But <laughs> I'm I, not going back to that stuff. I'm not, I'm not going back. And I used to enjoy the winter, you know, snowmobiling, all that yeah, stuff. I remember using you know? the CD case to scrape the windows and everything. Yeah, rough up there. I don't want that anymore. <laughs> that sucks. So you guys get your questions and we're going to go, go over a, a whole bunch of hot topics for you guys covering outside of what we do as therapies and everything I hear at Titan, but uh, let's get into it. So hurricane prep, we've got a hurricane coming towards us like we were talking about. So hurricane prep for you, what are your, what is your essential hurricane prep, Drew? If you had to be inside. To be honest, I'm that. not really of a hurricane prepper. I mean, I, I always have cases of water at the house anyways. Yeah. I don't really, I don't know. I haven't been affected by it. I've been yeah. here since 2006. I mean, there's been places in Tampa where I live where it's been affected by. I haven't been affected by. I know people right. have lost power. The last one was supposed to be the biggest one. I just stayed at home and watched TV and worked on some online Did stuff. Did you not like lose power? Did. Yeah, no, I didn't lose power at all last oh, time. Oh, nice. Not even for an hour. I mean, nice. I kept it the whole time. So I should be prepared in case something happens, but I mean, I haven't really done anything else yet. I mean, I always have like cases and cases of water, so I'm not worried about the water thing. Or, so what do you, what do? You do? Or, sorry, let's say you do lose power, right? Yeah. So what are you gonna do for food? What, what, do you, what, do you, what do you think? You got you got some non-perishable items you're gonna eat. Uh, I got oatmeal, but I, got oatmeal. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna heat it. But uh, yeah, I'll probably grab some canned stuff today or something. Okay. You know, some large cans All just right. in case. Uh, yeah. You know, peanut butter and jelly sandwiches is always good. That's always guys. a good one. Peanut butter. Peanut, peanut butter, butter and jelly. You know, it does, the peanut butter and jelly doesn't go bad for a week or two, even if it's yeah. out. Yeah. It doesn't have to be cooked. You know, if you yeah. do with deli meats and stuff like that, if your fridge goes out, the deli meat's going to go bad. Yeah. Peanut butter and jelly and sandwiches, I mean, you can make it anywhere. You don't really need a lot of light to make it even, so. Yeah, yeah. I, I grew I up on it, so I mean. It, yeah, peanut butter sandwich yeah. is always good. My son, to this day, he loves peanut yeah, butter yeah. sandwiches, man. So, that's just a, it's a really, really cool one. Yeah. I, mean, I guess a water is essential. For me, it's going to be water, and I'm definitely going to have to have some essentials, some foods. So, mm. some perishable items, non-perishable items, just in case. Mm. I'll try to cook. Some of that stuff before the power goes out, like some right. chicken, because I can eat cold chicken breast, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, uh, you know something like I, that. I know the gas station on the way here, a couple of gas stations were out of gas already. Oh. And when the ones that did have gas, they only had a uh, premium. So, I mean, yeah, a lot it, of the guys that want to gas up, you guys need gas. That's a big scam, man. I, I just heard from somebody, you know, one of my friends told me, hey, listen, I went to this gas station, mm. and the dude said, hey, listen, only premium works. 
Then he I thought tried. I had was the supreme or whatever the highest. But he that's tried all regular and it worked fine. Oh, it did? Yeah, the guy oh, tried wow. to give it to him. He's trying to get the higher <laughs> gas prices. Come I'm, on. I'm happy to have gas. I just, I should probably try it though. Yeah, it's messed yeah. up, right? You know, yeah, people try to get over it yeah. or something like that. You know, time of need. Or selling and, cases of water for twenty, thirty dollars. Yeah. Last, last big hurricane, people were out of water. There were people literally selling cases of water for twenty and thirty dollars for one case. <laughs> I mean, that's not right. <laughs> that's definitely not right. So, you know, for me, I guess it's water, some non-perishable items, some perishable items. Mm-hmm. Flashlight, you know, hopefully I have a flashlight. And they've got some yeah. awesome ones like those lanterns these days. Right. Uh, like the little electric ones I've got. They're really, really cool. Wireless There's, phone chargers. Good if you have a couple of those. Dude, some of those can go 24, 48 hours in a couple of them. So absolutely. That's good if too. you can get yourself a generator, get yourself a generator just in case your electricity goes out. If you're fortunate enough to do that. Um, but if not, hey, it's cool. You can you can survive without it. You don't need TV or anything like that. No. If you've got loved ones, you guys can play games, talk to each other, you know, have some quality time. If you don't, you can read a book, you know, do some exercises. So people even ask about exercises. Now, if you don't yeah. have no air conditioning, you're hot and sweaty. I guess that you know it's yeah. a miserable environment for you. So <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't recommend oh, yeah, it. Yeah, fans too. No, without fans. having AC fans. Fans, I mean, man, I'm telling you, you. Fans, electric fans or battery powered fans. Yep. You know, you know your AC goes out and your power goes out. You, you have not, no type of air circulation yeah so, I even I even uh, seen these guys that got the little fans that hook up into their phone and power from their phone so you have the charger for your phone at least you can run the fan on you like that I need some power that's not gonna work <laughs> <laughs> it drains my phone so I uh, so that that's the hurricane prep for us I, I guess in, in me and Drew's big tight lifestyle so yeah. You know, my kid, I don't think he'll need anything, but, you know, he, want, he wants some, some cereal and some water and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, kids so. are easy. Kids are easy. But, the, but when the Wi-Fi goes out, that's a whole nother. Definitely another yeah. story when the Wi-Fi goes the out, Wi-Fi for goes sure. Out, might be. <laughs> that's why you got to have some good apps, some good games, man, or some board game. on your computer or something, right? what that right? means, board games. Oh, kids no. Know Wait, board games. Honestly, you know, my, my son, he, he's, he's old school, man. He, like, yeah. he likes board games and stuff like I that. I never even, really even liked them as a kid, board games. Stuff. Monopoly, I anything? In, I never really got into it. I mean, I played it, but I never really got into it. Yeah? yeah. I, didn't I was get to always play outside playing sports or Me running too. or climbing trees or... Yeah. You know, breaking branches off trees with baseball bats or doing yeah. something crazy. Being things. active, getting yeah, crazy. Yeah. You know, you got to do that. You got to live life to the fullest. I think that's what it, you know a lot of people miss these days. You get know, out a lot there. of kids yeah, too. Yeah, so I think it's all what you're teaching. Uh, all right, so gym etiquette. We we talked about gym etiquette. Yeah. You know, and I always bring up uh, you know yelling in the gym, people making noise in the gym. I think everybody mm. gets there where they have to let out some some yeah. you know yeah. some frustration or maybe some yelling, but. When is it over the top? And I'm not talking about like uh, Planet Fitness, you know, lump uh-huh. going over the top. I'm talking about, you know, you're in a pretty highly motivated gym where everybody's, you know, lifting pretty hard or going mm-hmm. pretty, you know, pretty hard. You know, what, what's I, it, what, I don't, I wouldn't, I don't know what's over the top because what's your over the top might not be someone else's. For instance, I see a lot of times guys. They may make fun of somebody else making all this noise right. and only benching, you know, 100 or 200 pounds, whatever, something light right. that they could do, you know, 20, 30 times, whatever. Right. But they're making fun of them or they're making, oh, this guy's making all this noise, only has one or two plates on the bar making all this noise. You don't know. I mean, he might have, he might have, that might have been his goal, you know. Yeah. So if he's hitting a PR and he's only benching 100, 200 pounds, even if you're benching four or 500 pounds, you should be happy that he's actually doing something. Yeah. But there is a point. Right. Where it's just crazy. I mean, if you're making, if you're more concerned with people looking at you yelling than actually yelling to get the lift, I think that's when it's a problem. And I and I think that's where we're really going with it. And people really making, uh, you know, trying to get the attention per yeah. se. Or Everyone, everyone's recording now. So now nowadays reactions is more important than what happens. Of course. You see a baseball game, guy hits a home run. Yeah. They'll show the home run real quick, and then they'll go right to the fans' reaction, and they yeah. jumping or dancing. Yeah. So it's like the reactions is more important. Yeah. You need to be worried about the actual lifting. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree. Let the lift speak for itself. Right? Absolutely, and and listen, it's okay to let out some some noise. You know, I mean, I think we all do it, especially if you're pushing that last rep. I yeah. think you know you're really getting in, you're really hitting it hard. So uh, you know, just go, don't go crazy. There's people I see in there, you know, I. I seen it the other day, and that's kind of why I brought it up. Was I seen this guy go? Rah, rah. I mean, like before he even started his set and everything like that, he's yeah. not lifting crazy amount of weight. Maybe for him yeah. it was, yeah. um, and you know I wouldn't say anything to him because you know everybody has to do it. And I don't, I don't judge yeah. anybody. I got my headphones in, but when I can hear you and my headphones are on blast. Yeah. And I had my beats on Dre or yeah. in my ears. You can pretty much tell when they're doing it, like you know. It's, it was it was it was a little like excessive. Too much. It was a little excessive, yeah. So that was a little crazy. Um, you know, at that point, 
gym etiquette, always be nice and be friendly to people mm. in the gym too. Yeah. I think that's a missing thing. You wipe down machines. Way. If you guys use chalk, you know, there's a guy that comes to one of the gyms I go to. He comes in, it's like a big event. He's got chalk everywhere, chalk all over the floor. He's Nobody wants that. Water bottle. He's got wraps everywhere, and I honestly haven't seen him even really push weight. He oh, is almost shit. everyone has been waiting for him to do these lifts. And he chalks up and does everything, oh, and then he just you know, takes pictures and leaves. I mean, that's crazy. Do what you want to do, but at least clean the shit up when you're done. Don't I, just I, leave I mean, it. Everywhere. Yeah, you know? dude. I mean, that's yeah. that's a little disrespectful for somebody to do yeah. that. Uh, you know, just to get like all crazy and chalk, and, uh, I mean, chalk all over the place. Yeah, so. man, I just, I, I just, I, I can't understand that at all. Yeah. It's great. I'm trying to pull us up online here at the same point in time. Um, but yeah, I mean, gym etiquette: be nice. Don't get chalk over everybody. If you need a good chalk, we understand. You know, you're gonna lift. You need some grip. That's totally fine. But guys. Please be respectful. One thing I will say is be aware, too. I mean, I know it's not your job. If you're in there, you're working out, you're only concerned with yourself. But if you see guys on the bench press or girls on the bench press or squatting heavy weight, I mean, just kind of look out of the corner of your eye every once in the blue. Make sure they're good. Be aware. You, know, you might see someone on the bench that you think it's light for them or a girl squatting. She has plates on the Boy, I could do that. It's no heavy. You don't know what she did before she got to that lift. She may be tired. Exactly. So it's bad to see people bottom out on a squat when no one's there to catch them. Oh, that's, a, that's a tricky lift where the weight can actually fall on you. Oh, man. Then if you could let go. But, I mean, bench, squat, certain lifts, you know, just be kind of aware of, you know, <laughs> if you're not aware I've been caught a couple of times on the bench playing He-Man at the end of a workout and I'm thinking it's light for me because it's the end of the workout and mm-hmm. thank God I'm like spot and someone comes over real quick so I mean you gotta you gotta be careful you're lucky man for yeah. sure right. I mean you know I mean the times everybody that, wants to have a Jesus spot that's a new thing now Jesus spot they try to do it without a spot that's mm-hmm. a new thing the Jesus spot with no spot they try to show what they call it the Jesus spot they say oh I'm, I'm on a Jesus, Jesus spot because no one's there guilty. to help them and I'm then guilty. you know, <laughs> I mean, because I mean, most of the time, I, I, I mean, I, I, unless I they have a cameraman, but if someone's holding their phone or they set it somewhere for that, they're gonna make YouTube for the wrong reason. Oh, for you know, sure. So be you're, gonna, you're gonna be one of those Mimi rules. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Those make it funny. Gene you know, and just drop they're gonna have the baby laughing. <laughs> they have the baby laughing in the in the edit. <laughs> laughing at you or something. You do not want a bar to fall on your chest or your neck, especially yeah, with no, weight on no. it, man. Even 35 pounds on your neck or chest yeah. is going to hurt really, really bad. Yeah. And it could really, really mess you up. So, I mean, now, granted, I never had a workout partner, so on my bench. Now, I wouldn't go crazy and, and say, hey, listen, I'm going to do 400 pounds, like some weight I know for sure I cannot effectively get up. Yeah. Um, I'm always going to be able to lift it. So at that point, yeah. I always knew that going in. Now, you now got, if something happens, though, I mean, you know it, I, I would be screwed. I would definitely I be wouldn't screwed. have a certain weight that you're set in your head. Like, oh, once I get past this weight, then I'll use the spot. Because what if your workout was your muscles are more fatigued before you got to that weight that particular day. Now you might normally only be able to push that, you know, three or four times. Mm-hmm. Now you can't even get it once because you're pre-exhausted mm-hmm. and you think you could do it and there's no one there to help you. And then next thing you know, you know, you make a YouTube for the wrong reason. Oh, so. dude, you, you're, you're going to be on there and people yeah. are definitely going to be making fun of you for yeah. sure. Yeah. I mean, it's just, it's, it's not a good thing, man. So at that point, watch out, guys. Watch out for everybody around you. Be nice and make sure that if they need your help, you're there to spot them. Everybody might need your help at some point in time, too. So that's another thing, man. Uh, I, I know Olympia is coming up. I know we're talking yeah. about Olympia. We want to tease at it. Yeah, it's a little bit It's a little bit different this year. Some people should be in it aren't, and you know, it's a little bit different. But uh, I think it's going to be good. This is, the act- this is one year where... Um, we really don't know we don't. who's going to win. We have no Usually idea. Usually it was Phil, 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 and before that was Ronnie, and you know Jay was in there too. But now it's like, who knows? Everyone's saying Brandon Curry's the front runner. Curry. I think he looks the best in photos, but whoever looks good that day is what matters. And I think Curry is our guest poser for the Daytona Classic, which is Type Medical World. Oh, okay. Yeah, sponsor. that's big. So that'll be huge. Uh, yeah, Brandon Curry, I know they, they're, everybody's they're talking about... Uh, mm. You know, I mean, Randy might get a special invite. That was kind of unheard of. I mean, all these people are getting special invites. Yeah, I know. Actually, Randy's right? actually going to be in Miami. Uh, oh, is he going yeah, to Miami? Yeah, he's going to be training at, at this gym. I know I know the manager, though. He's going to be in Miami training in Miami. So. Then they're saying Raleigh yeah. might win it, possibly. Yeah. If you guys don't know what Olympia is, it's like the World Series of bodybuilding, you know, in the uh, IFBB. So, at that point, it's a top, top in the world is what they say. Yep. Uh, my good friend Phil Heath, you know, won it you know, all those times in a row. He got beat last year. Mm-hmm. Uh, by Sean Roden, and then there's been some circulation of some uh, accusations or whatever's going on with that. So he's not going to be able to defend his title this year. 
Right. So at that point, somebody is going to be crowned new Mr. Yeah. Olympia. I think top three for me as of right now, I would say not in this particular order, just the top three. I would say William Bonnick, Bonnick. Uh, Dexter, Dexter, and Curry. Curry. Yeah. But so, Luke Sandow looked freaky at the Tampa Pro. You never know. He might. You never know, yeah. especially this year. You know, when, when somebody has a title, they're going in, they're defending the title. So they've got some momentum behind them. This year, it's like, you know, who who is it going to be? So, yeah, yeah. I, I'm anxious to see who it is. It's going um, to be good, man. We've got a lot of friends, a lot of competitors in it. So Women's going to be good, too. Women's going to be good. Women's yeah. going to be good, women's too. So be good don't too. sleep on the women. These women are motivated, dedicated, and very, very persistent to what they want to achieve. And that's mm. Miss Olympia. So... At that point, I've seen a lot of competitors go through. It should be a great year for the women this year. There's a lot of great right. physiques out there. Uh, if you guys don't follow it, it's the Olympia. Uh, we do touch on it a little bit. We'll touch on it next week. See your predictions. So if you yeah. guys do follow the Olympia and you know what we're talking about, please send your predictions. We'll kind of cover it next week about who we're going to do one, two, and three. Yeah, everyone from bikini all the way to men's open bodybuilding. Not just Woo. not just what we're talking about, the heavyweight bodybuilders. Let's do 212 bikini, next week. The figure girls, all, everybody. What are you guys' predictions going to be? Who do you think is going to win? Yeah, Who do you think going to yeah. repeat? You think Sh- Shanique Grant's going to win again? Yeah, she's I mean, awesome. Yeah, she's crazy. She's great. Yeah, she's good. She's got a great personality yeah. on her, too. Uh, yeah. You know, who's got the best personality, I would think, out of all those groups, too? Uh, women and men. You know, that's a whole different thing. Physique's one thing. Personality's a whole nother. Mm. Uh, you know, have you met them in person? Are they nice? You know, yeah. uh, some people aren't. You know, it is what it is. Some people are real nice, and just some people aren't, man. Yeah, yeah. You know, I've met, met a lot in the industry and stuff like that, so. I will say one thing. Dexter Jackson, every time I've, every time I've seen him, I've been around him a bunch of times, he's always the same. That's really? one thing with him. Yeah, he's always the same. He always... Man. Just his mannerisms, the way he talks to me, he's always the same, which is good. Consistency is good. A lot of times people yep. are fake, this and that. Yep. But he's the one of the greatest of all time, if not the greatest, if you look at the numbers. Yep. And he doesn't act like that at all. He acts gotcha. like a regular person. If you didn't even know who he was, people that don't know who he is outside of bodybuilding, when they see him, and he, he just acts like a regular guy in the gym. Yep. You know, he wouldn't really act. He's not the guy pulling up in a Lamborghini acting like you know, he's, he's right. the man or whatever. Right. So, That's good. It's all about being humble, down man. to earth like that. Absolutely. Yeah. So last week, uh, this week's therapy of the week is Titan Ultra. Oh, yeah. I know we talked about it a little bit last week. So Titan Ultra has NADH, carnosine, taurine, and B12 in it, right? So NADH we talked about a little bit last week. I want to talk cover carnosine with you. So carnosine has alanine in it, so beta alanine, right? And then it has histine in it. So these two things are essential, especially carnosine. It's in every muscle especially when you're concentrating working it out mm. brain the this muscle, muscle this muscle my muscle right, connection mind. so at that point with the taurine b12 mm. it's creating a great mind to muscle contraction so if you have trouble with muscles and connecting with muscles this could possibly help this could help with mind and concentration as far as contractions and thinking about that muscle to mind contraction mm-hmm. And that's really what it is when you're, when you're training, I guess, volume especially. Right. I want to feel every muscle. I want to feel it work in every different angle. And, and even, even not to cut you up, but going yeah, into bodybuilding, if you put it into a bodybuilding, a lot of times when people bodybuild, they can't flex certain body parts. They can't connect their mind to that body part. Yeah. I've, I've had certain clients, women, they can't flex their lats. They can't flare their lats up because they can't make that connection. This is something that, like what he said, may connect that mind. You know, everyone has mind muscle the same contraction. muscles. It's just a matter of some people can flex them, some people can't. Yeah. You know, some people can move their ears without touching them, some people it's can't. True. That mind, you know, it's true. So that stuff will help with bodybuilding too in terms of hitting all your poses and be able to feel all of them. Absolutely. Or take it before you work out and be able to feel everything. Absolutely. It's one thing moving the weight from point A to point Point B, B. Yeah. but you got to feel it. And the only way you're going to feel it is to, you know, feel it up here, and then it just translates everywhere else. But, yeah, it's just yeah, no, that's, that's great, too. man. Right. Yeah, so, I mean, we want to we want to show you guys both both ways to, so you guys can use these things in practical terms. And then if you're using it in physical activity or bodybuilding, per se, I mean, you can use this in a wide spectrum of things. So, I mean, I think that's key to cover all these different things. And that's why me and Big Jordan are talking about this, because usually in Titan Talk, I'm telling you guys what it is, you know, the medical terminology, you know, the ingredients in it, kind of how it's going to help you out medically or, you know, help quality of life, mm-hmm. or this is going to help you in physical activity and different right. aspects so uh, that we might not cover in Titan Talk. So it's really, really cool to cover right. that with them. Um, any therapies you're taking currently, you know, different right now? I mean, I know you got... Oh, uh, right now, I actually start on uh, the MK677. Okay. Uh, I, I was I stopped it for a little while, and then I realized <laughs> what it was doing, yeah. so I started back again. It's helping with my appetite a lot. Yeah, big, uh, three, three big things MK677 is helping you out with right now. Uh, sleep... Um, appetite, um, and I know it's not really for that, but like 
my joint pain isn't as bad okay. when I take it. Uh, okay. I'm obviously I'm gaining lean muscle tissue. That's mm-hmm. the reason why mm-hmm. I like it so much. But uh, you don't realize stuff is working until you stop it, and then right. you realize, man, I'm not I'm not feeling the same. Right. So you know, especially with joint medication. Oh yeah. You guys are taking joint stuff, whether it's over the counter, whether it's prescribed. After a while, you don't you don't feel the pain, so you're not realizing that there is pain there. Mm-hmm. And then as soon as you stop, you're like the pain came back. You try to figure out why it's because you stopped taking whatever it was. So that's how I was with the Hercules. My gotcha. recovery, my sleep, everything just felt. I don't know. Even though my weight was the same, I felt it was a lot easier to move around. I don't know. I felt like less tight. Okay, that makes any sense. No, no, it, de- it definitely. Feels I'm hungry good. as a horse. Though. I like that. It's definitely going to increase appetite. So MK six seven seven is a GHRH. It's a growth hormone releasing hormone. Um, it's used as a peptide, and it's basically it increases the G-relin. So it stimulates the G-relin, and that's your hunger hormone. Mm-hmm. And that's what makes that appetite. You now, if you haven't taken it, I would watch out because if you have sweets or anything in the house, you're going to want to attack Gone. everything. Gone. So make sure you have good food and good choices around you when you take this. Yeah. Um, another thing is it will help with sleep. So usually some patients, and it just depends because everybody's different. Mm-hmm. So some patients can take it in the daytime and some patients can't. The reason is, is it might make you tired. Right. So at that point, take it at nighttime. It will help stimulate IGF-1 levels, and your IGF-1 levels will stimulate at night any, anyway because mm-hmm. um, that's when they're most – in the morning and at night are the best times for your IGF-1 levels as far as being stimulated. Right. And testosterone as well for higher levels in the morning. Mm-hmm. So if you ever do blood tests, if you do in the morning, that's probably going to be your highest level. Yeah. Um, so IGF-1 – that's what it's going to raise, which is going to help you out in all those different areas. Like you're talking about joint pain and stuff like that. Yes. So uh, IGF-1, yeah. it that helps in healing. It helps with muscle tissue, lean muscle mass, uh, weight loss, libido, uh, mentally, um, and just uh, a, a good feeling, a good overall feeling Yeah, you have a sense yourself. of well-being. I, I sense of well-being, sense of dude. Well-being, yeah. It's Definitely, huge. Yeah. Definitely. You know? I, I, which translates to everything. The gym, work, relationship, whatever. <laughs> you have a sense of well-being. That's pretty much it really what it's is. about. You know? It really so, is, man. Sense of well-being, yeah. I think, is key you know, for people and self confidence and in their daily lives you know from a relationship like you said their job their kids everything so i think that's that's really key so mk677 is awesome um it's an oral uh therapy so a lot of people don't like injections this is actually a capsule form so you can take it like i said in the morning and nighttime is when patients usually take it i actually take mine at like around six because i usually train at 6 p.m okay so i take mine with my eca because i don't feel myself getting tired until after i'm done working out gotcha So it takes a little bit of time for it to kick in with me. Whenever I take it, it takes time before I actually start, you know, feeling feeling drowsy. So at 6 p.m. with my white lightning, work out, and then I start feeling the drowsiness and the hungerness, which is good because I eat like a pig and pass out. Gotcha. It's like the perfect. Gotcha. And then I grow, so yeah, it works no, out best And, and like that's that. what you got to do. You guys got to sleep, so that, yeah. that's when the repair happens, and that's what Drew's talking about. So it will get you in that nice trans five sleep, hopefully, and that's when the repairing does happen because people do have bad sleep patterns uh, where they usually can't go to sleep or they go to sleep and then they wake up hour yeah. after hour. Yeah. That's horrible for your body. It's horrible for cognitive and uh, you know your thinking, and it's bad for repairing the body as far as muscles and everything else that's going on in there. So you guys definitely got to make sure that you guys are getting good sleep. And we always cover this. We talk about the therapies and how much they benefit you, but nutrition, right? right. Exercise, and sleep. I mean, you're gonna That's need these huge, different things. That, those those three things are, are the foundation of everything. We don't sell any magic pills or magic shots. Mm-hmm. You know, that's not what it's about. We're trying to give you practical information of what's going to help you along with these things. Yeah, that's why sleep is so important too is because a lot of times people think of rest as physical rest. They right. don't think of mental rest. Yeah. Like if you're at a cubicle or your office or you're dealing with numbers or even though you're sitting in one place and you're, you're mentally mm-hmm. drained all day long, now you have to go work out. You could be mentally drained where it could be someone else who doesn't have that much thought process. They're outside. Right. Say if I just have to, you know, move these bricks from here to here all day. That's I don't have to think, but I'm yep. moved. That's physical exhaustion, but my yep. brains have helped. Right. I mean, so it's like when I have people, especially people when I'm working out, if they're if they're dealing with numbers and just clients or customers or whatever they all day long, patients then try to work out, their yeah. body's rested, and, yeah. but their mind's not right. there. Mental exhaustion. So that's why, you know, in the morning time, I feel like it's the best time to work out because yeah. you're mentally rested and you're physically rested. 
So you wake up, train, and then you could do whatever you have to do. You yeah. have a better day. I, you know, I, I've done it two ways, Drew. I've done it both. I've done it in the morning, and I'm just not a morning person when I used to yeah. work out. Uh, you know, when I was in military school like that, I, I used to go out and work out at 5 in the a.m., so it's not a thing about me waking up in the morning. I like to wake up more now. Mm-hmm. Um, me, I just I think I get better lifts maybe in the mid afternoon, and I used to do it at night before I own Titan, yeah. uh, like six seven o'clock because I work another job. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think that for me, the best thing that was was more of a mental um, relief. Mm-hmm. So that was my my stress reliever was yeah. in the iron. So that was why I think it helped me out there and why I was good at that. But some people are so mentally drained, and they're not trained like yeah, going they're just there. going through the movements. That, yeah. that's, that's it. Because yeah. when I go in there, it's it's listen. This is what I'm going to do. I don't let anything affect me. And yeah. you know, that's one thing I asked Sharice. I said, listen, unless you know there's something burning down, don't bother me in there because I'm focused on what I'm going to do. And with somebody interrupting you or you you know getting a bad text message per se or something's going on, yeah. it will affect your training. Right. So don't get yeah. you know don't let that affect you. Don't let anything get in your way when you're doing it. When you're getting in there and you're setting that time aside, make sure you're setting the time aside for the right thing and your guys are getting it done, not just going there and going through the motions, through the motions right? Yeah. You're, you're only putting aside 20 or 30 minutes or maybe an hour of your day, right? And some of you guys for the whole week, that's all you guys do. Yeah. So if you guys are doing that, come on, how many hours are in a day and how many hours are in a week? Give yourself the 20 or 30 minutes, you wake right? wake up an hour earlier. Whatever time you wake up now, yeah. you wake up an hour earlier, you can... Get, get, get it done. done. Yeah, you can get it just an hour early. That's it. Get it done. You know, time management, that goes a long way. Well, if you it. train at home, if you have a gym at home or a facility at home, you can wake up 45 minutes earlier. Literally yeah. wake up, throw on some shorts, work out or do whatever you have to do yeah. and be done. Like, just yeah. done. Yeah. Whereas if you go to the gym, you got to put your clothes on, you got to drive yeah. there, you got to park, yeah. you got to take your ECA, you got to yeah. do this, you got to get your headphones ready, you got to go oh, inside. Man. You got to say, hey, what's up, what's up, how you doing, big dog? How you looking big? You looking big? Three hour process, man. Yeah, and by the time you get to the get to the, your first exercise, it's already been an hour. Man. You could be in the shower getting ready to go to work by then. You know? Right. <laughs> it's true. No, it's so true, guys. And, you know, it's like, uh, it's like that, you know. Make sure you guys are going there and getting it done. Don't go in there to, to conversate or do anything like that. It's not a nightclub. It's not a pickup place. Uh, it's not somewhere where you're supposed to be conversating with your friends. If you're over there, give dabs, give love, you know, give a compliment if you want to, if yeah. they look that good and everything like that. Or respect go on. people too, you know, just like going back to the gym etiquette thing. Respect people. If you see someone's in a zone or you see someone just, it doesn't look like they want to be bothered, they don't want to look like they want to be bothered. Let them be. Let them work out. They're know? doing that for a reason. If they're not making eye contact or they walk by you or they nod their head and they just keep it moving, obviously they're busy. They, at least they acknowledge you, you know, just let them be. And then yeah. If they want to talk after, you want to talk after. It is Get it done, is. man. Get it done. You know, and, and that was another thing. So, Otherwise, I'm showing up at your cubicle and I'm bothering you at your job. So. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So, yeah, that was, that was, I guess so we can answer that question, too. So, if you're in a hurricane, right? So, what do you do for exercises? And I, I, this is pretty oh, simple for me. Um, so, I mean, you don't go to the gym. You, you can't go to the gym. It's closed down. Hurricane. It's flooded. Whatever it is. You could do push-ups. You could do dips. You could do crunches. If you have a step anywhere in your house, steps. You could do calves. Um, you could, uh, if, I, you have a, if you have a, a, a wife, a husband, whatever, you guys can do, you know, push-ups where you clap yeah, hands, yeah. you know, make fun of it or something. Yeah. I mean, you could you can do, women, do, you can do pulse squats. A lot of women do pulse squats. You yeah. Know, you can just do pulse squats. You can do lunges around your house. I mean, biggest things uh, yeah. that I do, uh, push-ups, sit-ups, and I do this on a, every every morning anyway. Before I get in the shower, I do 50 push-ups. Mm-hmm. Just to start off. Mm-hmm. Just do the blood pump and stuff like that. So push-ups, sit-ups. Uh, I, you know, you can go crazy and you start doing dips, but easy ones, push-ups, sit-ups, women, wall slides. Yeah. That, that's a real simple one. They can usually do that. Make sure you have a white shirt on and don't mess up your walls because I mean, I've seen some people mess up their walls mm-hmm. like that, to be honest with you. Um, you know, you can start getting crazy with it, but ha- do games, especially with your kids. Mm-hmm. You know, at that point, if you're, if you're at home with your kids, make fun with your kids. Do it. Have them earn it. Give them a dollar, maybe two dollars, you know, something you could do it, make them motivated by it and have them great, get good health and, you know, make it some money and, and they'll be motivated, I guess, to do more. I mean, I've never let them realize what it was like before oh life. God. <laughs> For sure. I mean, you definitely got to yeah. do that. I mean, before Wi Fi, I mean, think about it. What did you guys do before the internet? Like, if some of you guys are out there, you guys are older, like me and Drew. It used to be a big deal if, you, if, you, if your cable's not working. Now, oh, I don't even know. If I, I can't remember the last time I. Turned it on. Really? Everything, yeah, everything goes through the phone, Apple TV, everything yeah. is just... Yeah, it's crazy, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's a beautiful thing, though. Technology is awesome, but, you know, we don't want to get lazy or you don't want to be inactive, so... Well, you got to know how to live without it. That's the thing. That's the main thing. Like, yeah. You know, 
Anybody over a certain age, I don't know, 30, I don't know. Yeah, I know. They know how to live without it. Yeah. A lot of times these kids nowadays, they don't know how to live without it. So yeah. if their phone was out and they needed to get home or they needed to call somebody, they have no clue how to do it. Like, yeah. You know, they, they don't know how to go to a library. Like, oh, a library. Man. Read a map. Everything like we were talking Google. about that. Read you want to read a book, go to Google. You want to do this, go to Google. So now they don't even know how to look up. Yeah. To go through the cards and look at the A's and go down and look at KJ and all that yeah. bullshit you have to go through in school. I hated that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God for Google. You know what's funny is, uh, you know, when we were back in the day, we were talking about school, you know, going through those classes. Back in the day, they wanted you in math class to show all your work, right? You had to write it out and show it all yeah. or else you weren't getting credit because they didn't want you to use a calculator back then. Mm. Now, they don't want you to show the work they want you to use the calculator. Yeah, that's crazy. And my kid, listen, I mean, it's advanced. I was pretty good in math and everything like that. I've been through college and all that. Man, our kids are they are going through math pretty quick. And like some yeah. of the problems he's covering in fourth and fifth grade now mm. or are some of the things I was covering maybe in seventh grade back then. And I had a pretty good education. So yeah. at that point, man, these kids are getting advanced real quick, which is really, really good. But they're getting too dependent on some of these, you know, some of these things like a calculator. If you, you should be able to write out your work. Uh, in any way, shape, or form, and be able to show how you got to that answer. Right. You know, unless it's really, really deep and stuff. Or like certain, that. I know I certain you know? schools now they're taking uh, the kids are actually doing their homework in class because they have no way of proving that wow. they didn't just Google everything. Wow! So they'll have like certain time where they'll be like, you know, it's almost like taking a test, but they'll give them homework and they'll have to do it because they. If you go home, I mean, who? Yeah. I mean, yeah. and if you're a parent that's just doing your kids' work for them, off. I mean, you could be. Who, who knows? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> no, no, you don't. You don't know. Think about it, you have every answer in the whole entire world at the palm of your hand at any given time. I mean, you so know, how are you going to give someone twenty questions and tell a kid go home and learn these twenty questions? I'm all right. Go so I mean, they're going to go home and they're going to research it. Now, I guess it doesn't really differ from when you could go home and you could get it from a book, though, right? You just copy it right out of there. But the difference with a book is you'd have to actually go through the process of reading and trying to find True. out. You know, if you read True. chapter three and it talks a little bit about chapter four, yeah, then you're gonna have to realize, okay, I'm getting. Yeah, well, you no, have to I say, totally understand. You know, it's a short. Who killed JFK? Answer. Boom, boom. It's just easy. Uh, it's, you know, it's a it's, lot easier. It's real nuts, though. So this is one good thing. So I know this is for a fact. So let's say they do that, right? And you can go on and just copy a, like a sentence or paragraph of the yeah. answer and then paste it. They actually have software that will pick up. If you've co if you've used copyrighted information on the net, so that's good. All right, now I'm, I'll just admit to this. When I was in college, I did uh, use a couple paragraphs without noting the source, and the teacher did run it through a software program. This is in 2001. Uh, and at that point, came back to me and said, "Hey, you know this is plagiarism." I said, "What do you mean? I only used like a paragraph." You didn't know where this paragraph came for, and did not give credit to wow. that. So that is not your material, and you are getting an F on this no, paper. And funny. if you want to fight it, I'll go to the dean, and we'll just say it's a plagiarism, and we'll try to get you suspended from school. Really? So I will. I will never ever do that, and I will always learn from my mistakes. Never plagiarize, and always list and note your sources. That's I learned that in my book too. So our and book that was twenty years ago. Yeah, oh, so, twenty years ago. Yeah, Jesus Christ. Yeah. Make me feel old here, dude. 2001, almost 20. 2001, <laughs> yeah. Sophomore in college. Jeez, old Pete's. Yeah. Well, time flies. Yeah. yeah, man. So, I hope you guys, uh, you guys want to cover anything else? You guys got any questions? Anything out there? I got the events coming up. You know, we got the uh, Iron Bay yeah. Fashion Show. Okay. A lot of deal. So, what? next weekend, Iron Bay Classic, right? Right here in Tampa. If you guys are local, come out and visit. Me, Drew, Sharice. A lot of the tight nets will be there. We've got our girls giving away the trophies. My man Jose Santiago and son Tran are putting it on. The Titan Medical Center is the presenting sponsor and title sponsor of it. So we are excited. It's always a great one. National qualifier this year, guys. Huge. He's giving away dog tags. He's got awesome trophies, rings, team uh, award. Uh, a lot of different things are going to be going on. So we can't wait. We're going to wait tons of Titan gear. It's local here in Tampa. So come out and visit us. It's on Saturday. We'll yeah. see you guys there. There's a morning show and a night show. I'll probably be at the night show and maybe a little bit in the morning. I have no idea. Um, but, yeah, it's going to be awesome. St. Pete Fashion Weekend. We are our presenting sponsors, title sponsors of that too. Titan Medical Center is involved with everything. We are getting our hands in everything, guys. So at that point, we're gonna, it's going to be a three-day affair, the soiree, uh, the actual show, and then we've got other things and going where, on. Where is it going to be? That's in St. Petersburg. So it's going to be at three different locations, actually, in three different days. It's going to be awesome. Yeah, it's going to be good. Fashion models.
Titans, Titanettes, you're not going to want to miss it. Everywhere. If, if you can't, you're not going to be here, make sure you guys are tuned into our social media, Instagram, Facebook. Plus, we're going to take lots of videos and pics for you guys. Titan oh, Talk every yeah. night, 6 p.m. Yep. Titan Talk every Tuesday, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Make sure you guys are tuned in for that. YouTube, Big Drew, every Friday, Titan Lifestyle. He's going to be talking about all dips, types of different things, right? Yeah, if you guys got any ideas, also uh, hit me up, hit John up, yeah. hit Titan up. Yep, Titan up. Let me know what you guys want to hear. Uh, let me know if you guys want to, you know, see what my everyday life is. Maybe yep. do like a day in the life or just see, you know. Absolutely. And I, obviously, I'll be doing the, the same thing I'm doing now, but I'll just be walking through yep. maybe the grocery store or the gym, yep. my headphones on, maybe talking to you guys while I'm working out. Maybe have a Friday when I'm actually answering questions on on the stair machine or something like that because I'm going to start doing a little bit of cardio and stuff. So, you know. Uh-oh. See how it goes. Hey, hey, hey. Easy, easy. Uh oh easy, easy. But, yeah, it'll be good. Nice. Be good. Nice. nice. And so that that'll be really really awesome. Um, we've got a lot of different things going on for you guys. So big things in the works. Make sure you guys are staying tuned. It's gonna be awesome. The app's coming out. So make sure huge. the Titan app. That's huge. True's gonna have a little section in there. So yeah. the athletes gonna have some sections following their workouts, what they do, and you guys can see and then follow their programs as well. So it's gonna be awesome, guys. So make sure you guys are locked in. Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. Keep it locked, you guys. We'll see you guys. Titan Talk Tuesday. Have a great Labor Day, right? Spend it with your family, your friends, your loved be safe, ones. Be safe. Be safe. The storm's coming. If don't, you're in Florida, don't make road trips. Don't do anything stupid. Yes. If you're in Florida, be safe. If you guys are anywhere else, enjoy. Okay. So I'm John. Big Drew. Friday. We're, yeah, we're out. Titan lifestyle, we're baby. Hit the pool. Yeah, we're ready to hit the we're pool, baby. Downstairs to the pool. We're gonna get some pictures, get the video. We'll see you guys online. We out. Y'all better tighten up.